Guys, welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. Come here, Crystal. Come. Okay. This is gonna be a fun video, guys. Definitely stay tuned to watch. We got a really nice lineup of our adults to share with you today. And specifically on the old, mini Old English Bulldogs, guys, we've had a bunch of requests sharing the side-by-side -side profiles and just talking a little bit more about the differences in sizes and everything. So this is gonna be a good video for those looking to adopt a mini Old English Bulldog, as well as those possibly looking to breed. We've had a lot of people say they love the breed, they wanna do this themselves. So we're gonna share some really good information on the French Bulldog to the, the Old English Bulldog and the differences in between. We'll have a 50-50 Mystique. We'll have Molly, our three-quarter mini old, mini old English Bulldog. Right now we have our French Bulldog and our Old English Bulldog here to start this video off, guys. So go ahead, uh, hit that subscribe button before we get started. We are super, super appreciate it. We love our fans. We love the community we built here. And guys, it just means a lot. <laughs> so we have Marco, our main, our French Bulldog male here. Come here, Marco. He's looking super good. But this right here is what started it all off, guys. This beautiful female crystal. This is our mini old English bulldog. Oh. oh, good boy, Marco. Marco, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Good boy. Oh, I know, I know. First off, I love bulldogs, guys. They're just the best. They are the best. But yeah, crystal is the reason we started this all off. <laughs> she is a beautiful, um, Old English Bulldog. She is registr registered to the Old English Bulldog um, registry. She has the color. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that? Yeah. She is smart. She just took off. <laughs> she was ready to go. <laughs> She's registered to the Old English Bulldog registry. I know, Marco. And it has the, some beautiful markings, color, genetics, confirmation, and it's just a powerhouse. She is a powerhouse, guys. Instead of you get taking her on walks, she takes you on walks. So that is one reason why, again, we wanted to do this breed for the mini old English Bulldogs. So I'm gonna give you a little summary on that first. It's again, because a lot of people honestly can't handle an old English Bulldog. You know, they are beautiful dogs, but we wanted to downsize this breed here. And we had the perfect female to do so. <laughs> So again, that's what kind of started it all. So now by breeding an old English oh, Bulldog, Marco, hey, it's okay. Hey, come here, buddy, come. Come here, come here, come here. So yeah, by breeding a French Bulldog to the Old English Bulldog, we're able to downsize her, make make the puppies more uh, you know, easy to hold, maneuver, handle on the leash. Also, it could prevent some of um, any type of um, you know health issues You know, by breeding two breeds together. Um, that there's you know not saying that it does for every everyone but it, it definitely can help with some of that so but you definitely want to have healthy parents to start that off with um no matter what you're doing so crystal look at the camera you're the star of this video girly yeah you are so we're gonna do a quick video with crystal and just show you her confirmation her power her size and his little personality about here we're gonna go on a little walk and compare her to the French Bulldog. So you can see the difference in size. This is really good, good side side by side view here. And then we'll get the, the other ones out as well. But you know, the French Bulldog's around 25 to 30 pounds. She's more like 65, 70 pounds, just a full muscle and strength. You're gonna see her pulling me here a little bit. But the French Bulldog is just a lot easier to manage, to walk, to hold. Uh, even though the old English Bulldogs are awesome. So let's go. Let's see if we can't go on a walk. Let's go. Come. 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 Good girl. You need a lot stronger leash with her. For a French Bulldog, you can just have a regular leash. Just go down. Yeah, good girl, Christian. Again, she does more of the pulling, bleeding, compared to you doing it for a French Bulldog. So you can see the size difference as well. Come Crystal, come. Have them side by side. Good sit, good sit, 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 good sit. Look at that, sit, stay, 
Stay, good job. Crystal, wanna sit and shake? Come, sit, come here. Sit, sit, shake, shake, good shake, good shake. Super smart dogs. <laughs> you saw the biker go, she wanted to chase them. So guys, here we're gonna start off with, you know, with this video showing an old English Bulldog compared to a French Bulldog. And you can obviously tell the difference in size, personality a little bit. Um, they're both stubborn. All Bulldogs are stubborn in my opinion. Um, but it's what makes a Bulldog a Bulldog. Um, so color wise, with the French Bulldogs, we're able to get these beautiful mural colors with our mini Old English Bulldogs. Um, so you definitely, if you guys have seen our puppies already, you know how beautiful they look. Look at that. So yeah, we're gonna go talk about the three quarter and the 50-50 mini Old English Bulldogs next. But we wanted to first start off with how we started off. By bringing these two together, you're gonna get the 50-50 mini Old English Bulldogs. And then, so with the 50-50, once the ears aren't guaranteed to go up, so if you want a puppy that's gonna be, you know, more around the 40, 40 pounds, 45 pounds, the ears more like a, a Old English Bulldog, that would be the, the litter to choose from. If you want one that looks more like a French Bulldog, you're gonna want the more the three quarter or the seven eighths, which we're gonna talk about later on. Okay, we'll try to maybe have these back and have all four have the Old English, the three quarter, and the 50-50 down to a French book. Maybe we'll have all four together here at the end of the video, guys, so stay tuned. So let's go on to the three-quarter and 50-50 mini Old English Bulldogs. Right, let's go, guys, come. All right, guys, we're back here. Letting a little tinkle there. Okay, so now we have a couple of generations down from Crystal. These are all um, part of Crystal's um, lineage. So we do have one Old English Bulldog that we do breed. So if you are looking to possibly have a um, someone to breed to, we do have that available. Um, but yeah, you definitely don't want to breed um, whenever they're related or anything like that. But if you're looking for puppies, guys, this is going to be awesome experience for you guys to share and learn about the many Old English Bulldogs, the different sizes and generations, and just personalities. <laughs> You can see, we have Molly here just right in my face. Kind of has a lot of French Bulldog personalities. This is what they do. They love people, they love sniffing, they love just cuddling right up to you, being a little jelly bug. So we'll talk about personality, we'll talk about size, we'll talk about, um, yeah, the color that we have for these guys. That'll be a good one. So yeah, let's get started. So right here to my right, um, the one that's right here. This is our 50-50. This is Mystique. Now she just had puppies, so she's a little bit bigger than maybe what your dog would look like. <laughs> Come, sit, 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 sit. Good girl, Mystique. That's gonna be a fun video, like I told you guys. But yeah, this is Mystique. Yeah, good girl. You like your belly rub. <laughs> They're gonna be all over. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. So she is a blue and tan. Come. I want them on leash so I can keep them in the video for you guys or else I just let them run. She's a 50-50. Good girl. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. And she's the blue and tan coat color just like her mom. And you can see they're super friendly. She wants to go right to the camera. Wants to be a part of the action. She's, a, she's more of the 45, 40 pound range with Mystique. The males are gonna be a little bit bigger. And the difference with the 50-50s is the ears aren't quite gonna go up most of the time. You can see to my right, Molly, who's a three quarter, mini Old English Bulldog, has her ears up. Hopefully you got that shot there. You can follow her nice and forward. Good girls. You can see the difference. Molly to my right looks more like a French Bulldog. A little bit smaller, a little less bulky. Um, compared to Mystique, who's chilling right there. Again, you want your belly rub, don't you? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. But you can see these are way easier to handle, guys, than Crystal, which Crystal is awesome, and some people love bigger dogs, and that's great, we do too. But we're trying to help all families, you know, so if you want something more manageable, you know, you can take these ones out on a walk, no problem. 
Yeah, and they're just showing their personality, guys. You are gonna get such a lover, friendly, uh, silly dog, just like the French Bulldog. A little bit bigger in size. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful dogs. And let's talk a little bit about the coat color. So we kept back our blue and tans because we like to breed to a Merle French Bulldog. So by having the blue and tans, you're gonna have the best possible coat co combinations when you breed it, whether it's to a lilac Merle and tan or a regular blue Merle and tan or chocolate Merle and tan. Um, so yeah, we made sure to keep back our blue and tans females. So I would suggest if you're looking to get one to breed, a blue and tan would be my suggestion. And then that way you can breed to a Merle uh, male, French Bulldog. Good puppy. Look at him play. But guys, super non-aggressive whatsoever. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about these with your kids or anything like that. Of course, as puppies, you know what, like any dog, you're gonna have to t teach a dog not to, you know, nip or to bite on things, stuff like that. But they're super friendly. Um, non-aggressive. The only way this type of breed is going to be aggressive is if you're aggressive to it and it's going to, it learns that way. So these are, you can see how amazing friendly our moms are. <laughs> and I guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I know I certainly am. It's just always fun to see a grown up and for you guys to experience because the puppy stage doesn't last forever, you know, and I want you guys to see what an adult dog is going to look like and how they're going to love. <laughs> And I definitely think this is painting the picture for you guys. Um, so I would definitely wanted to share the personality as long as well as their confirmation. So let's talk a little bit more about the confirmation. If we can get them to stand up straight. Up, sit, sit. Good girls. So you can see there is a size difference. The Mystique is a little bit bigger. Um, but as far as body type and everything, it's just downsizing just the further you go down. You can see there's a little bit more fat bulk in the 50-50s where there's going to be a little bit more muscle going down towards the French Bulldog. Now she just did have puppies so it's you know there's a little extra but you can see also again in the head is one thing to look at. Come. Sit. Sit. You going to whistle towards them? Hey girlies! You can see that the muzzle is a little farther out with a mystique here that's on the ground. Many Old English have a muzzle that's a little bit farther out. And you can see the French Bulldogs, they're more flatter. That's another different thing about them. What else about their confirmation? Um, you know, just the Old English is bigger, so they're gonna have a bigger head, but French Bulldogs still have a nice round solid head that's just gonna keep on carrying through. The, again, the males are gonna be bigger. They're gonna have more of a rounder head than the females. So right now we have the females out here. So if you want a one that's more stockier, bigger head, definitely choose a male. But for me, like personality-wise preference, it doesn't matter. The only difference between a male and a female to me is the size. I feel that the, the puppies get the characteristics from their parents. And each one also does have their own personality type, just like us humans. Some can be shy, some can be more outgoing. I feel it's just all kind of just depends on you know the upbringing and just the god-given uh, personalities that they are given so yeah guys so i hope this video hope you guys um, understand more about our mini old englishes and also we have a lot of people excited about our litters coming in the early spring end of end of uh winter a lot of people are wanting either to add another one another mini old english to their family or they want you know one for better timing so they waited a little bit longer so we will have those litters hopefully posted by the end of the week um, so we can get reservations for upcoming litters, guys. And uh, definitely, definitely want to get on that. Give us a call if you are interested. You know, the best way is to go to our website at woodlandfrenchies.com and then give us a text or a call. You can email us too for any type of information on reserving an upcoming litter on these beautiful animals. Okay, so if there are, if there are any other questions, guys, let us know. But I hope this answered a lot of those questions you did have on the mini Old English Bulldogs, so. Yeah, good girls, good girls. Again, nothing but a lover, friendly companion with this breed. Super silly, 
has the French Bulldog characteristics to them, uh, but has a little bit bigger size like the old English Bulldog guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we, let's see, maybe we can get all four of them out here together so you can see the, the lineage from start to finish. We'll try that out and then we'll go ahead and end the video. So we're gonna quick get all four of them out here and so you can see the size difference. Stay tuned. All right guys, we got the whole crew, the whole family out here. We got our Old English Bulldog Crystal, the mother, the reason we did this. We have Marco, one of our male Frenchies. Then we have Molly. She is the three quarter mini Old English Bulldog. And then we have, um, we have Mystique, our 50-50. We're not gonna keep back a seven eight. We do breed the seven eights for puppies, um, but we are gonna just keep back, you know, up to, you know, basically one like Molly there. So guys, wanted to just kind of end this video sharing all four of these. Let's see if we can't get a size thing. Okay, so we got Crystal, we got the 50-50 there, and then we got our uh, three quarters. Stay down, Mom. Stay down. There you go. And then of course we got our French Bulldog. So hopefully you can kind of see a size difference. Marco, there's a good shot. Side view. It's a good side view. Good job. Of all three uh, of the different mini old English Bulldogs. Yeah, good girl. Come. So guys, thanks again. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We appreciate you guys watching our videos. Be sure to comment, like. We really do appreciate it. Help push this video as far as it can. We really want to share this breed with everybody. And hopefully you guys enjoy the content. See you next time and hit, check out Woodland Frenchies for any upcoming litters with these mamas. Um, and yeah, we'd love for you guys to share and enjoy one of our many old English Bulldogs. Thanks. See you guys. <laughs>